Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about integration by parts. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, the integral of cosine of 2x times e to the negative x power dx. And we have to evaluate this indefinite integral using integration by parts. And this one's a pretty difficult one. So let's go set my u value here and my d, uh, dv value. I'm going to set my u value to be e to the negative x and my dv value to equal to cosine of 2x dx. Okay, I'm going to put parentheses there. So that makes then my du value, my derivative of e to the negative x to be a negative e to the negative x dx. And we find the integral of our dv value, so our v value, and the integral of cosine of 2x is a one-half sine of 2x. Okay. So we have all that set up. Let's apply our formula. We're going to take our time here. We have a u times a v. u value, e to the negative x, times my v value, one-half sine of 2x. Minus the integral of my v value, which again, that one-half sine of 2x, times my du value, a negative e to negative x dx. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do now, see, I see another integral here, and it almost looks more difficult. But let's go pull out what we can and see what we can do. So, we have here, let's go uh, rewrite this as a single fraction. We have sine of 2x in the numerator. Okay, make sure I'm on the right part here. Over 2 in the denominator, and instead of e to the negative x power, e to the positive x power. Now, we have minus, but we have one-half comes out front, and this negative sign. So it becomes a positive one-half out front. Times the integral of sine of 2x times e to the negative x power, dx. Now, I know you're looking at this, you're like, well, how is this any different than what we have right here, right? I mean, we have sine and cosine, but it seems like it's not going anywhere. But don't give up hope yet. We need to do integration by parts again. And I know what you're also thinking. Well, it's just going to turn that sine into a cosine, and it will. We'll see what happens. It's actually a pretty cool trick at the end. So we have a u value here. Let's set it again to be that e to the negative x. All right? And we're going to set our dv value here to equal our uh, sine of 2x dx. Okay? So du, again, same as before, it's a negative e to the negative x power, and our v value here is a negative one-half cosine of 2x. Okay? All right, let's keep all the ducks in a row and separate that out here. Okay? So, keep on going, taking our time, repeating the same process over again. Sine of 2x here over 2e to the x power. Plus, all right, the one-half stays out here, and we're going to do our integration by parts here, and I'll put it in brackets. u times v, u in this case is e to the negative x power, times my v value, a negative one half, cosine of 2x. Minus the integral of v, integral of v, which is a negative one half, cosine of 2x again, times my du, which is a negative e to the negative x. And then we still have our dx at the end. Oof. That's a lot here, okay? Make sure I have it all right, yep. Yeah. All right, looks more complicated. It eventually will simplify out, I promise. So we have the sine of 2x, let's rewrite that down, over 2e to the x power. Now, I'm gonna distribute this one half across the board here, okay? So distributing that across to both parts here, what do we have? One half times the negative one half is a negative one fourth, right? So we have minus sign, we have four in the denominator, okay? Then we have a cosine of two x in the numerator, and we're bringing that e to the negative x down the denominator, be e to the positive x power, okay? Minus. The one half comes over here, and we're gonna actually pull out, okay, this other one half out here. So we have one half, Minus minus makes it a positive, one-fourth, but then this negative comes out, which makes it a negative. So we keep the negative sign here, one-fourth, times the integral 
of that cosine of 2x, ah, maybe 2 here, if I can rewrite it, ah, I erase too much. So we have the integral here of a cosine of 2x, right there, times e to the negative x dx. Okay. Now, if you're like me, you're like, okay, we are back at the beginning, right? We literally had the same integral from the beginning. What can we do? But notice here, this is equal to that original integral, this whole thing. So if we rewrite this, I'm going to try to write it small so it all fits out right here, okay? Um, actually, let's do it like this. This is equal to the integral of that cosine of a 2x times e to the negative x dx, right? Just set it equal from the beginning down here. But what happens if we actually add that to both sides? We add this one-fourth of that whole thing. Remember, this is all one big integral. We can do that. So I'm going to add that one-fourth integral of cosine. Here's a trick. 2x times e to the negative x dx to both sides. Add it again. One-fourth integral, if I have the room, cosine of 2x times e to the negative x dx to both sides. What happens? Let's go. That whole thing we're putting up here. Okay. <laughs> Add it to both sides. It will bring us back to the left-hand side and make it easier to see. So we have a, a coefficient of 1, really, right? 1's out front. A 1 fourth, that gives us a 5 fourths. So we have 5 fourths times the integral of that cosine of 2x times e to the negative x dx. And that is equal to this whole part right here. That's sine of a 2x over 2e to the x power minus cosine of a 2x over 4e to the x power. Okay? Got all that lined up here. Okay, make sure. I would hate to make a mistake at this point. Okay? Why do I have a 2 sine? One half, oh, no. Hmm. Just double checking everything here. Okay, that's why. All right. So, as we're going, I'm actually going to combine these to be one big fraction. So let's keep this down. 5 fourths integral of cosine of 2x e to the negative x dx. If I multiply this one by a 2 over 2, put that in, we then, can my 2 times 2 is a 4, 4 e to the x to the denominator. So we have a 2 sine of 2x minus a cosine of 2x over that 4 e to the x power. Okay. But I want to get this original integral by itself. So just multiply both sides by a 4 fifths to both sides. And that's why I combine it to be one fraction at this point. So the 4 is canceled, 5 canceled. Great. We have our integral of cosine of 2x e to the negative x here, dx. And that's equal to, well, the 4 is canceled. That's great. And we're left with a 2 sine of 2x minus cosine of 2x over 5 e to the x power. And that's it. Beautiful. After all our big tricks kind of going around, the last one was the biggest trick of them all. But we got a final answer. The final answer here is 2 times the sine of 2x minus cosine of 2x over 5e to the x power. Oh, plus c. Ah, plus c. I add the plus c's. Uh, you can do it at this point if you want here. Plus c, plus c. But anyway, oh, almost forgot the plus c. Anyway, plus c at the end. <laughs> that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.